inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? Hey! You can stuff your taboos! What's that? A faith. They join with the Summoner, and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls, imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. There's the last of them. You are to stand trial. <laughs> I expect it will be a fair trial. <laughs> of course it will. Yevon is now in session. The sacred offices of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. To those on trial, believe in Yevon and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. Tell this court what possessed you to participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. He killed his father Jisco with his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Hadn't you heard? Not only that, Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the Far Plain. Yuna was only doing her job as a summoner. Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. Send the unsent to where they belong? Yes. <laughs> Maester? Send the dead, hmm? Uh. 
You would have to send me too. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he is invaluable to Spira. <laughs> Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. Men die, beasts die, trees die, even continents perish. Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... are you telling me that too is futile? <sighs> Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> Not in vain. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. Their rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile, but never ending. Hmm. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah! The heaven is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity. Summoner. No. That can't be right! Those who question these truths, they are traitors! Lord Micah! Waste your breath. Man, I hope Yuna's okay. Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? Why is it everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Ah, uh, the spiral of death. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death, spiraling endlessly. <sighs> Come out. Your sentence has been decided. Sentence? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now, what person would execute a dear friend? You would. Looks like you're next. Uh, next for what? <clears throat> Get 
going. Where's everybody else? Floating down there somewhere, maybe. What's our sentence? Think they expect us to give up and die down here. Ugh, oh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Hmm. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. How fares the Ranso Mister? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ranso. Hard headed, hardly useful. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Braska. She may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevin. She cannot be allowed to live. I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? Very well, as you wish. Lady Yuna, forgive me.
sorry we left you alone. No. It's okay.
It's okay, I know.
Lady Yuna, so it is you. Why are you here? We rode the airship to the Calm Lands, then came to Bevel. Maester Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. <sighs> you will fight us? The Temple's orders are law. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood, you're a traitor. His guardians, I don't see them. Maroda and Passe are not here. I will do this unhappy deed myself. Forgive me, Lady Yuna. against mine. yet.
cannot let you... Away. Yuna, let's go. There's a way to the surface up ahead. Your pilgrimage is over.
Um, I... Enoch. Why, you? I have saved him. <laughs> he was a man who craved power. And great power he had, but he feared losing it. Trembling at unseen enemies, he spent his days scheming petty schemes. Chased by his fears, never knowing rest. You see, now he has no worries. He has been granted sleep eternal. Death is a sweet slumber. All the pain of life is gently swept away. Ah, yes. So you see, if all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. Don't you see? Do you not agree? That, Yuna, is why I need you. Come, Lady Yuna. Come with me to Zanarkand, the lost city of the dead, 
With death on our side, we will save Spira. And for this, I will take from you your strength, Yuna, your life, and become the next Sin. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. You're totally nuts! Unpleasant. Very well. I will give you your death. You seem to want it so. Go to. 